All right, so let's compare it to code that <coughs> kind of had more think and go into it. And that's this code. No, that's not that code. It's this code. So let's just look at the thoughts here. So there's books, book show, create, create process, update, update process, delete, delete, uh, delete process, right? So delete's just off the home page. And so uh, looks like index is index shows the template books. Oh, that's just a redirect. Index just goes to books. And so books goes to books index, where we have execute template books.goHTML. And so here we're selecting star from books. Right? If the method's not get, then we have an error. Don't know if you really need that. Like nobody should be trying to post to this, but if we want to error them out if they do, fine. And here we have select star from books. We get our rows. Oh, defer rows close. So we forgot that, Jeff. That was like your expertise last week, defer rows close. And then uh, here we have a slice of books. And we're making the length and cap zero. So it doesn't really serve any purpose. And, uh, and then we do rows next, loop, and book, create a book composite literal and then scan and drop all the stuff in and uh, pin to our slice and we're passing our slice in and executing our template and then our template you know uh, ranging over all the books and having links to update and delete so pretty similar I think uh, the one thing that we left out was uh, the defer rows close. And so select star from books where we have one book and insert into books. Well, let's see if there's any Go code in there that's worth noting. If methods get, then go somewhere else or show an error. And then we're getting the form value ISBN. And, uh, and then there's a little switch here. Row scan. HP not found. Return. Error is not equal to nil. Return. So if there's an error. So uh, we're just creating a book and dropping the values into the book. But if there's no rows or if there's an error, we're, we're, we're getting out. It's kind of a cool way to do it. And then showing that book. And then post. And we're creating a book. So insert into books those values. And uh, four values are coming in. So we're grabbing all those. And we're doing a little validating of the form values. And then converting form values from strings to a float 64. And then inserting. Right, so there's a lot of little details. So this might be somewhere where like a framework like on the front end would just be like send the data back, but then you do you want to validate it on the server too in case somebody tries to send your server junk data probably. So you'd have to figure out how to do that by doing this stuff. And then uh, update ISBN, so getting a unique value and selecting that one creating that book, passing it into the update template, and processing the update, update book, set, where. 
So similar to ours. So we did pretty much the exact same thing, but good to kind of look at this other stuff. I think it's nice to see how it's built up like we did in the previous videos.